Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. We're looking at a beautiful day today here in the Pacific Northwest, maybe a little warmer than some like, but certainly beautiful. And the grass is green and all the things that we, we love about the Northwest are happening here today. So praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Proverbs chapter 11, verse 27. It says, He who seeks good finds goodwill, but evil comes to him who searches for it. You know, as I read those words this morning, I'm reminded that uh, life really is about our perspective. What are we searching for? Are we searching for good or are we searching for evil? Are we spending time, our time in good or in evil? Uh, you know, I, I, I think it's a, a true statement that says where we spend our time, where we spend our thoughts, what we put into our minds, if you will, is what's going to come out. And so, uh, you know, I, I feel like for me, I want to focus on the good things and I want to look for the good. Uh, certainly now, evil can find good people. Uh, people have choices and bad people uh, make decisions that affect good people every day, if you will, um, and, and vice versa. But the reality is what we're searching for is oftentimes what we find most. If our perspective is that life is good, then life is probably, we're going to find a good life. If our perspective is that life is bad, we're probably going to find the bad in life. I notice it seems kind of weird, but uh, when I'm focused on a vehicle, like right after we bought our Jeep, uh, it just seemed like all of a sudden I can see Jeeps everywhere. I don't remember ever seeing Jeeps that much, just you know, once in a while, but now it's like they're everywhere. And, and I think our perspective is like that. We get uh, something new or we, we have something and all of a sudden we start to notice it more. And again, it comes back to this idea that if we search for good, we're going to find goodness. If we search for evil, we're going to find evil. And again, where do we spend our time? Are we watching TV shows? Are we, we getting into things that are evil, that are, are bad? Uh, and is that where our focus is? I know, um, and it's not just TV. It could be just something on the internet. It could be lots of things where we're spending time. It could be books we read and whatever. But I also know the same can be said with politics or with the news as, as a whole. If we're spending time uh, watching news that tears us down, that, that makes us hurt or that makes us fret, or then we're going to be fretful people and we're going to find it. Uh, we know that certainly the news media isn't perfect. Uh, certainly there's ways that I certainly wish that they would improve in how they do things. But And it's good to know what's going on around us, but not to the extent that it drags us down. God didn't give us this world uh, to live in, to be afraid, and to be scared, and to be you know caught up in the evils of this world. God gave us this place so that we could make a difference, so that we could be light. So today, I just want to encourage you to look for the good in life. I want to encourage you to think about what you enjoy and, and, and what God, the goodness that God has brought to you. I know the more I focus on what God's done for me, the, the happier I am and the more uh, I can enjoy this life. Yes, there's bad things out there. There's bad things all around us. And I'm not trying to, to say that there's not bad stuff, but I want to focus on the good stuff. And I hope you do too. God wants to bless you today. He wants you to enjoy this day. He wants you to find his peace and his happiness and his love. And we can't do that if we're caught up uh, and fill our day full of garbage. So today, fill your day full of God stuff and let God uh, give you a glorious day. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity we have uh, for our perspective. Father, help us today to have a glass that are half full rather than half empty. Help us to have a positive outlook on life and help us to look for the good things that you're doing. Father, we know that you're always all around us, that you're watching over us. And we just pray right now, Lord, that you would uh, continue to watch over us and bless us with wonderful days. Fill our hearts and minds with good memories. Help us to enjoy the day you've given us. And we thank you for the sunshine of the day. Father, just bless those who need a special blessing today, whether physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual, whatever the case. Bless them right where they're at, uh, that, that you might receive all the glory. Father, for all these things, we'll be careful to give you the praise and the honor and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There you have it. God loves you. We love you as well. Trust you're going to have a wonderful day today, and we'll see you tomorrow.